Hey there, fellas. You know what? I had absolutely zero doubt that a ton of people would dig watching us take our Porsche out onto the highway to cook some meat. As you can see, we've already made it to this spot. We've parked the car so that it faces the same direction as traffic leaves the city. I've put some charcoal in there, the grill is warming up. We're looking pretty good. We'll start cooking the meat really soon. Now we... The most important thing to do right now would be for everybody to get into position, get the meat prepared on time, I guess I'll close the hood to get a quality smoke show happening, and then we see how the people react to this. Are they going to stop? Are they going to drive up and ask what's going on? That's the question. We're conducting a social experiment this time. I guess that's what you'd call it. Anyway, enough talk. It's pretty cold outside. We really should move around a bit. Okay, fellas, we've almost got everything ready. We've got plenty of smoke coming from under the hood. People passing by are getting a good laugh out of this. I mean, whoever is going into town, they can clearly see what's happening. Also, we've positioned all of our cameras. We've got one placed in the forest, believe it or not. It's virtually impossible to see. Meanwhile, the second camera is going to be sitting inside a car. It'll be accompanied by a second cameraman. There is a slight issue with the sound, but no worries. We'll find some way to synchronize everything and make it work. And now... I guess we wait for a couple of minutes to get the meat thoroughly cooked. That's when I close the hood. And then, well... It'll look as if the car is on fire. Let's see how the people react to that. See that, fellas? We were literally just about to man our positions in the bushes and inside the car, when the cops suddenly appeared. They came up and asked if we needed any help, then they saw the meat and started cracking up. We chatted for a few minutes, explained to them that we're conducting a social experiment. They responded with even more smiles. As soon as they saw that we had the situation under control and that nothing was getting out of hand, they hopped into their car and were on their way. You guys need any help? You want to help? Well, if you're able to. Come on over here. Hey, man. You're the first to drop on by. We're actually conducting a social experiment to see if people are just going to keep on driving. And you're the first to actually pull over. I've been waiting for five minutes already. Plus, they've closed the railroad crossing. Feel free to dig right in. Nah, thanks. What's the problem? I don't want any. Oh, you ain't hungry. We've got a cameraman hiding in the bushes and another one in that car. Yeah. Right, you take care. How are the cops going to react to a car-mounted barbecue grill? Originally uploaded in September of 2017. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. We've been sitting here for almost 10 minutes. You can clearly tell that this isn't just the car overheating.
Right, fellas, so here's the situation. We've been out here for a good 20 minutes, right? And just that one dude pulled over, who was en route to the city. I'm guessing he... You can clearly see from that angle that we've got a grill in here, but he probably didn't notice because of all of that smoke. He came up and asked whether we need any help, laughed when he saw what was really going on and bounced. As for the people leaving town, I don't understand why nobody's pulling over. You can see that there's smoke. There is not too much of it, of course. But from back there, it does actually look as if the car is on fire. Nobody seems to care. I didn't even see anybody slow down. And that's pretty sad, to be honest. I guess we just keep on waiting. There you go. At least somebody stopped. Hey, man. Who? And here I am thinking you noticed the smoke coming from underneath the hood. I was actually driving that way. I saw you smoking and I even honked at you guys, thought you were on fire. You're the second person who thought the car was on fire. Okay, fellas, we've got a responsible citizen right here. What's your name? Alexander. Alexander, okay. So Alexander here was genuinely concerned that something's wrong. He pulled over to see why we're smoking and was treated to some shashlik. Yeah, you got lucky today. Let me go get a plate for you. We've got a few. Hopefully these will do. I've got some plates for you, Alex. Let's open them up. Yeah, go ahead and take two. Just take them right with a skewer. Yeah, go ahead and take two. Maybe you can give it to somebody. I was talking to my friend and I was like, can you imagine? I saw some guys, I thought their car was on fire, but it turned out that they were making shashlik. He's like, no way. That's when I decided to flip around and check to see if maybe you were selling it. Thank you. No, thank you for pulling over. You take care now. Yeah, cheers. So here's what's up, fellas. The car was parked next to the road for 20 minutes. You could clearly see smoke coming from under the hood, or from the trunk, and only three cars pulled over. What's funny is that the first car was traffic police. They came on by straight away when they saw the smoke coming from our car. But when they saw what's really going on, they had a laugh and went their way. Respect to those guys. After that, 20 minutes went by. And just two guys pulled over. And that's with quite a few cars going by. I'm a bit surprised as to why people are like that, and why they would just keep on going. I mean, nobody was even slowing down. Well, a few people did, but only a few. Most drivers just couldn't care less. Come on, people, we should really show some respect and compassion for each other. You know, not turn a blind eye to what's going on around you. Not just walk or drive by without a care in the world. Right, so you saw it all for yourselves. And that's all I have for you. So you guys watch us, send in your comments and suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, catch you later.